Good morning. Our devotional for Friday is called The Joy and the Cross. And um, the short, very short reading comes from Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. The joy of the Lord is your strength. <clears throat> See how daring and bold the prophet is, who gave him such a stout and defiant courage. From where did he receive it? From the Savior alone. The more people would drive us away from him, the firmer we cling to him. The more sorrow, misery, and harm people do us, the more we rejoice, for our joy is eternal. And the more people want to drag us away from it, the greater it becomes. But someone may ask, can ever a soul lose such joy? Yes, and as soon as we lose it, we are surrounded by everlasting pain from which, though it is itself eternal, God saves his people. Hence the joy also is eternal, though we may lose it while we are here on earth. This should be understood as follows. Christ is my savior. If I know and believe it, it is an eternal joy to me, so long as I build on it. When, however, the heart and conscience are devoid of Christ, the joy has ceased. Grace continues, but the conscience can stumble and fall. This I say that you may not be offended if many of your number fall away from the gospel and deny Christ. For where Christ is with his comfort and joy, the cross and persecution are not far away. But I fear that we have neither the cross nor the joy because we receive so little of the gospel. We remain forever in our old nature and despise the dear and precious treasure of the gospel. Can we ever lose such joy? I think that, you know, when I read this, I think about um, if we lose our joy, it's because we've lost our hope. And hope is one thing that Christians bank our, bank our lives on, basically, the hope of the cross, the hope of eternal life, uh, the hope of resurrection from the dead, uh, the hope of uh, um, being with God through eternity. Uh, it's, it's what we base our life on. And if we lose that hope, then our joy soon disappears after that. And, um, if we, if we can continue to hope and then trust in God, then our, we are, um, forever filled with joy as well. Um, you see people who are, are true Christians and most of the time have a smile on their face. <laughs> and it's not only that kind of joy. It's not the ha-ha, yay joy. It's just the deeper feeling of, of belonging, I guess, of, of having that heart, that God-shaped hole in your heart filled. Um, so pray to God. Don't be afraid to talk to God. Speak to God. God, God will be there when we need him and always is with us. And uh, if we trust and we hope, then we find joy. 
And if that's what you're looking for right now, it's a different kind of a joy, even a better joy than just being happy. I hope that you all have a good weekend. Um, I'll be with you tomorrow morning yet for devotions. And then tomorrow night is our first worship service. And then Sunday morning as well in person. So I might see you there. If I don't, please don't feel guilty about that because um, you must do what you feel the most comfortable with. You must be the judge of whether you should go out or not. And so I, I beg you to think long and hard about it and come if you're ready. But if you're not, then please, please just continue to watch our worship service online because we will continue to broadcast that as well. So I've spoke my piece and um, I hope to see you all there. And um, it would be nice to see people in masks as much as possible. So have a wonderful day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.